Our modern age began in the year of 1870 with Thomas Alva Edison. The young inventor realized that planet Earth had little left to explore and he dreamt of the stars. He found a like-minded partner in Jack Armstrong, a Scottish entrepreneur and adventurer. Together they devised a way to cross the ether, the substance that separates the planets from each other and fills the seemingly empty void of space. Powered by modern steam machines, Edison's masterpiece would change the world. The ether propeller. In this very year they started out on the longest journey a human had ever endeavored up to this moment. A retired navy ship from the Civil War was lifted into the ether and the propeller began its work. Carrying the explorers to Mars. After months of travel, Edison and Armstrong entered the atmosphere of the Red Planet. And crashed. I'm strong. Mehr Gas. Keine Panik, Herr Junge. Armstrong macht das schon. While Armstrong stayed back to examine the damage, Edison took the first step on the unknown world. The Martian led Edison to her people and told him about secrets he only ever shared with a select few. Their ship was repaired using the so-called liftwood, a plant native to Mars that defies the rules of gravity. And after they returned to Earth, the colonization of the solar system began. British French and German troops were shipped out to conquer Mars, Mercury and Venus. In many places they were not welcome and in the jungles of Venus they had to face fearsome predators. Finally, a covenant was formed between the British and the lords of the channels of Mars. But the peoples of Mars are not united and not every one of the city-states and tribes tolerates humans living among them. 
Their discoveries made Edison and Armstrong immensely rich and the greatest heroes of history. But some powers on Earth still hope to uncover the last secrets about their travels and the pioneers can hardly step outside without being followed. Armstrong has turned into a paranoid hermit and is seldom seen. Edison simply lives with being watched everywhere he goes. Too valuable are the insights that might still be hidden in their logs and chronicles. The nations of Earth will not stop searching until they hold this knowledge in their hands. But should a single man, even if he is a genius, hide his findings and keep them encrypted among diaries and travel records? Does this knowledge, kept secret by the explorers, not belong to all of mankind? And even the people of Mars, their world changed forever with the arrival of these two visitors from Earth, have not forgotten about them. They may have launched our modern age, but their own legend and their secrets, both on Earth and on Mars, could catch up with them at any time.